गाइस अगेन वी आर विद द न्यू वीडियो नाउ दिस टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू बी परफॉर्म स्टैंड बाय आर मैन एक्टिव डुप्लीकेट मेथड इन दिस केस वी डोंट नीड बैकअप वी विल यूज ऑक्सरली चैनल्स टू स्टोर प्राइमरी इन स्टैंड बाय so this time i got request from my blog readers too uh, because last video i have created uh, how to create a clone with armin backup base without source connectivity so somebody asked me to create a standby video let's start with full energy so i'm not going to be waste the time uh, as you all aware i have two machine first is source and second is target and uh, i am using mpt to connect these machines both machines so i will connect first source i will connect with the root user mm, let me connect target to i will rename my source with the name of source so i will easily identify job mena target so on source side this time i have one db the db name is infi you can see i have two db prod and infi uh, this time i am going to be perform task on the infi so infi will be the primary and on other side i will create standby for this so that is standby name i will take infi underscore sty so let me switch with the user let me check is in fi database is up and running fine or not okay database is not running so let me set the environment okay now you can see database has been start so let me show you some details for this database this database name is infi instance name is infi so uh, the host name is source.local domain database role is primary read write mode is open in maximum performance so actually uh, this is for the standby we can use this parameter on the standby to check the performance that database already i put it in the archive log mode to save the time and flashback as on force login is no so before proceeding to make a standby we will do it uh, force login yes start time you can see and the version so let me show you something so this things we are going to be use here
the host name that primary primary server host name is this IP address is 101 DB name is infi unique name is infi and we are going to be use disk 01 and FRA and the other standby side uh, we are going to be use target name host name is as a target dot local domain and the IP address is 102 and uh, DB name will be same uh, in fee but the unique name should be changed for the standby that's why Oracle will recognize which one which one is the standby or which one is the production so standby should be unique name should be changed compared to the standby uh, sorry compared to the primary so this uh, I have taken the name in fee underscore sty and the disk group location disk location is uh, disk 02 and fra i am going to be used so we'll proceed with that let me show you my archive details so you can see current archive is sequence is 6 and it is using db recovery file dust and archive is enabled so let me show you the db recovery uh, fra details so you can see that is configure slash fra slash infi and the 4 gb is the size for the recovery dust now let me check whether it is pinging to the target or not so you can see source is able to ping to the target So first we have to do some modification on the primary database on the primary database so that database uh, uh, will prepare itself to uh, manage the standby so first we will on which I already show you force login is not enabled let me enable the force login so for with the help of force login this is necessary because sometime if you are doing anything and log is not created so it is a big problem for the standby because the standby will be uh, synchronized with primary logs uh, that is another theory this is not the theory class so I will do is uh, practical I will tell you the practical theory you can read it or I will arrange uh, I will so I will make some other video for the theory classes so you can see the DB name is infi and uh, DB unique name is also infi we have to configure this parameter you can see this uh, log underscore archive underscore uh, archive underscore config parameter value is uh, uh, null so that the production will not identify how many uh, standby is there for it so we will set first uh, the, this parameter alter system set log archive config equal to dz config equal to infi and infi sty So this parameter has been altered now we have to set log archive dash one we have to check we you can see there nothing is configured here so which
so ultra system set log archive dust one local it will use db recovery file just location because already i uh, configured uh, fra and that uh, db unique name is infi only so it will send the archive on the local destination the primary will send arch archive log on db recovery file dust and now we have to configure log archive dust 2 so this is for to send archive on remote location yes this parameter this parameter will send archive to the remote location means in standby server so that is the alta system set log archive dash to service service means remote remote location infi underscore standby is ring valid for online log primary log and db unique name infi underscore standby so in my case i am checking the format of uh, archive is so in this format archive will generate dot dbf for infi dot dbf so i want to change this archive extension in arc but not an issue you can use that dot dbf but i am not going to be used because this is very confusing sometime to database file and uh, uh, archive log to identify like i am i am checking the data file with the extension only so it is easy to it is to recognize for me so i am going to be change this and it should be the sp file because this is the static parameter and you can check the arc uh, log archive max process will be 4 and password should be exclusive now you can see one parameter fall underscore client that is null we need that fall underscore client and for underscore server parameter in the standby while we are configuring the standby so it will help when our standby is running behind and log is not shipping they is use uh, gap log gap so uh, that parameter help to resolve this thing so client will be infi and server will be infi underscore sty because log is sending from primary to standby yes now this db file con name convert parameter we need so if you are not configured on the primary side this time that is okay not an issue but this parameter you need while you are configuring configuring standby because i am configuring this parameter here uh, while i will do the switch over i i don't know, need to be configured again so you can see value is this even you have to configure log underscore file underscore name underscore convert parameter too and if we are going to be create standby the standby management standby file management parameter should be auto so this time you can see this is the manual so i will change it that parameter in auto
now the time is to create listener so first I will show you something first you have to check list whether listener is running in st from static listener that database is running from static listener as dynamic listener You can see there is no listener is running let me start the listener like no need to start but I will show you something like if you are doing uh, in at your at your machine so your listener will uh, at that time will be running so how you manage that listener If you type uh, that utility name and start, it will start dynamic listener. So you can see, okay, there is no service with the listener, not an issue. So what you have to do at your site, you have to start the dynamic listener and the dynamic listener will show here service name. But in my case, already I, have done some changes before so it's not showing the service but what you have to do you just type the listener name and stop so it will stop the dynamic listener after stop the dynamic listener you have to make your static listener so you have to go to 01 app oracle uh, product 11g this is my oracle home your oracle home should be changed different but mine is this so you have to go on oracle home then uh, now this path will be same for all of us network admin you have to open you have to go in admin folder and this is you can see this is the there is one listener file and tns name file first we will create, modify this listener file so already I told you I have done some modification so you can see okay this is for the prod database but we are running uh, this time uh, in fee so I will create in fee static listener you can see how to create now I just I will I will not waste time I will copy paste the overp entry and what I will do I will do some changes here so you just watch it listener underscore in is his name that listener running on this host but the port name I will change because that port already engaged by some other database I will take this port as 9 R8 is fine it it is not using any device listen underscore infi and I will change here the side name infi so let me verify once again let's not name this host name is good port name is good oracle home ok now we are good here let me copy this name because I have to start this static listener this time you have to give that name now you can see we have started one static listener now service you can see here that infi service is using this listener uh, after creating the static listener we have to give entry in the tns name file name tns name so that listener will able to 
uh, that TNS uh, entry able to ping that particular listener. What I will do, I will change name here. Host name was this and I was using it. Now this is the service name and let's try to ping our listener. Something is there, we have done some mistake. No. Mm, that is the mistake. I haven't removed last name completely now you can see it's working good so now what is the next step i will use that primary database password file so that password file you all know in it will be on the dbs location so right now i am in the admin folder i will go oracle home location and now dbs locations will be oracle home dbs this is the password file you can see This is a password file for NP database and I will transfer this password file to my another server with Oracle user. my bad today I am doing a lot of mistakes okay you can see password file has been transferred now what we have to do all done in source side I will go on the target side first I will switch it to Oracle user let me check the connectivity working fine so my first step will be what I will do I will go to the, I will go to the first home location and now I will go to the network location so what I will do I will create a static listener for standby now and the same I will mention TNS entry in TNS name.ora file like previously so both side we need static listener don't see this much entry because 
already I have created so many things. What I will do now, I will create something here for related to our task. In fiestify, okay, port name I will change here eight. You can choose whatever it is not like I have taken there also eight, so I will take here also eight. You can choose different port. Because this is another server. You can see all okay. Again, what we'll do, we'll start. So we'll start later that listener. First we will mention TNS entry. We'll start listener when we finally proceed with the creation of the standby port should be changed to 8 and the service name nvsty now we are good here So we are going good. Now you have to create some directory that is mandatory. Otherwise, your clone will fail. Sorry, your standby will fail. So this is a dump. this location I'm going to create to store CRD files and this is for FRA FRA you know why now what I will do we are on the admin folder so I will move to the DBS location sorry and this file we have re transferred recently password file I will move this password file to this name sty you can see is done nicely now I'm here so I will create one dummy p file in this file only two parameter is enough db unique name and db name
so this is the manual creation so uh, what I will do I will make the entry in URATA file so it will be easy for me to set the environment now we are good let me set the environment then now now you can see environment has been set let me start the listener now you can see listener has been started nicely let me try to ping the tenus name entry is working fine okay uh, one more thing I forget to give one thing that is what we need thanks I remember on the correct time otherwise we, fa we will face some error we need one more entry TNS entry for production side otherwise we are we will not able to connect with while we will connect with the arm and auxiliary and uh, the target mm, so let me check what entry I have given there port this is the source source you can see I have given 1528 source name be good will come on the target side and port is good then and we have to change here service name their listener is up and running so we will just try to ping see is working fine very good so now both is working fine our environment already set so let me start this instance now the school plus you can see that uh, school plus is connected with the idle instance and uh, we need to be start in a no mount state with that p file which have we have created dummy p file so that is in it infi underscore sty dot aura might be let me check
case my bad uh, just uh, that is the problem with the copy paste nothing else so don't worry about it here you can see now see what I am doing lot of mistake here today now here we can go okay stance started in no mount stage we are good here and let me open one more session so I will run the script on this session now you can see we have connected uh, with the army mm. yeah. and the auxiliary instance so uh, I will save some time because you can see already I created a script you just need to recheck for the standby This look fine so we are good we got some error let me solve this guys let me tell you that error will come because of what thing I forget to mention one entry in TNS in source side that is now you can see I have created this entry earlier I forget to create this entry we need both TNS entry in both side so this time I have created this entry you can see and now I am proceeding with task again set the environment I 
connected with the idl instance i will start up in no mode with p file eleven G point two this in fee this now you can see stance has started then what I will do I will try to set environment here also and I will start Armin session here so Armin target sys user sys is the password and the service name this is infi service name for the primary side auxiliary is the keyword sys is the user now sys is the password and this is a service name from the standby now you can see we have connected with the auxiliary database no more stage and we are good to run the script the same script nothing to modify you can see all is good now scripting executing fine it will take just little bit time For the time being that script is taking time I will connect with the source then I will show you some information which will save time let me check how many logs you can see here this many archive generated in this location right seven archive what is that archive is not applied so this is the information showing that archive is not applied there these archive are, was registered with the archive process now this is fgrd process has been registered so you have to go with the theory what is that fgrd and you will get to know oh now cool you can see that skip has been completed let me exit from here and again I have to log in says DBA this time let me show you all things on the standby has been configured you can see DB name is infi but in stand name is infi sty that is unique name and this is target information this is physical standby you can see here let me show you and compare the things
that formatted was not coming good so you can see here this is primary read write mode archive log post login is enabled the flashback is yes on post login is enabled and now this side physical standby is not open yet this is mounted okay in maximum performance archive okay Fla flashback is not on post login is on there is the information you can see here let me show you something see not we have not received any archive log till now so let me take some switch here one two three three i have taken now you can see here till now it was there now three switch i have taken there this is third switch three are archives generated now we'll check in the standby size might be it will take some time to transfer here hello guys you can see here that uh, archive has been transferred it took some time hmm. so it's registered by fall registered by uh, registered by rfs rfs has received you can see that archive received by the rfs in the source side it was archive process so all these things you have to go to with the theory okay why is showing here rfs and why there is showing archive if i will explain here so that session will go lengthy i don't want to be do that and uh, you can see applied is no now is saying applied is no and earlier we checked uh, and it was what is that mounted mounted so i am not going uh, this time i am not going to be put this database in recovery mode i will put after open so how you check your mrp is on or not so you can see there is zero row selected what i will do alter database open now what happened this database have open in read only mode because this is standby right again format problem see you can see this is open in read only mode right so what i am going to do I will put this standby database in recovery mode. So this is the command alter database recovery manage standby using current log disconnect from session. Okay, that is the one mistake of what I have done. We can't go recovery without without standby log. I have not created um, standby log till now so we have to create standby log manually here so after creating this manually we can go So guys you can see here 
I am creating standby Rudo log on the standby. So without this, you can't go in the recovery mode. And it is good if we are facing problem in this video. So you will be aware with some of the errors. So we have to create four Rudo log. This is the uh, Oracle recommended if you have in primary side if you have whatever how many uh, there you have in primary side you have to create one plus in the standby side. So I have three there. So I am moving to create four. But you have to do this after opening database. And this is the interview question you he did here. If we will not create standby redo on standby side, what happened? So the the answer is we cannot put database in recovery mode. Now see what happened. Database is going recovery mode. Alert. Good. Now you check the status. Open mode status. Read only mode with apply. Earlier it was read only mode. Uh, after Before that it was mounted only you can see it was mounted then we opened we open in read only mode now after opening i put in database in recovery mode now it is read only mode with apply I, now what i have to show here you have seen there was information about what log is uh, archive log standby received it was not applying it was not saying no 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 applied this time what we have put a database in recovery mode so let me show you something see now is applied right and if I will gap check the gap there will be no gap means whatever the archive we received on standby has been applied successfully there is no difference so what I will do now I will cancel the recovery mode cancel recovery mode has been cancelled so archive is coming in a standby but is not applying so i will take some switch here see we don't have data data to insert um, more time to insert the data so just i will take the switch so it will be easily to identify So you can see after taking I take, took a manual switch and here you can see information and let me check here again. See, you can see last time this much was applied after taking the manual switch this much archive came here and it is status is no right see not applied so this time I will show you the gap you can see 25 received here 
14 applied and gap is 11 till 14 it is applied 25 we received and gap is 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 that is the thing if we put database in recovery mode again it will go and apply so let me show you one more thing and this is the last this information so what I will do I will put in recovery mode and I will show you some process which will apply the archive log in recovery mode see you can see this process is applying see you can see right closing connection closing connection applying this one this one so there is no data so this is very fast it has done very fast if data is there so archive will be in 25 MB 30 MB 50 MB so it will take some time to apply and you can check on what's going on so guys now we have done and this hasn't gone too long because of some error and it is good if you face the error so you will get to know okay sometime uh, what is the error or how to resolve it if uh, something is going smoothly so if and you will get the error how do you resolve so that is good now we done today thank you and I will upload this video here on my site Oracle Barking you will come and uh, click on the video tutorial link and uh, yeah, you can go on the YouTube YouTube like this and please don't forget to subscribe my channel so in uh, while this is open to my from my account so it's not showing here but when you will go there so please subscribe my channel there that red button will be below and i will post this video as soon as i will get time in my blog thank you for watching have a nice day bye